didn't think my voice was going to come out. That was weird. Pay no attention to the weird lump in my head. I tell you, I cannot get my hair smooth anymore. I don't know what the problem is. I guess it's because it's so thin now. I don't know. It's good enough, right? Right. And if it isn't, then who on you? All right. So this today is from Paint Some Way. I really like their website. It's a lot of fun. So I decided that I would get some completely different things. Well, not exactly, but kind of different things than I normally get. So we're going to explore the Paint Some Way website, right? Right. Okay, so first of all, I got this adorable Grinch ornament. Now, this is just an acrylic ornament with Grinch sneaking around. And it came in this adorable little gold lame bag. Well, not really lame, but... And you get a nice long string, which I'm going to put both ends, maybe... We'll just put one end in. So I'm st just strung it through this. And it also came with two little tiny, oh my gosh, this is not going on there. Two little tiny jingle bells. Let's see if I can hold my mouth just right and get this on there. So my grandma always used to say when she was thread the needle or if she was having trouble with something, she's like, ah, oh, not holding my mouth right. Aha, I got one. Ta-da! Let's see if I can get the other one on there now. Find that mouth position. Did your grandparents ever say that to you? Got to hold your mouth right. My dad will say it every once in a while. Okay. Oh, they're so cute. Let me... Figure out what I'm doing here. Come on, one on each side, please. Thank you. No, get back over there. I know you can't see what I'm doing. I apologize. Well, you know what? I did it on the wrong string. So now his jingle bells are one on each side. One on each side. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie both strings in a knot about there. I'm going to do it one more time just so it's a little bit bigger and doubly secure. So I just slide it down until it gets right where I want it and then just tighten it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie these two pieces, the two ends, I'm going to tie them in a bow. Just so, I don't know why, I just felt like doing it. That's why. Got to be different. Always got to be different. Never do things twice the same way. Did I say that right? Unless it's the rules, then you kind of have to. Okay, so, there you have it. Cute, cute, cute. And jingles, here, jingling. I think he's adorable. I love him. And it, it's the, it's actually a photo of the Jim Shore Grinch ornament, which I will never be able to afford. Or justify paying that much for a gym shore. I do have some gym shores that were given to me as gifts by one of my longtime friends. I have a couple of, I have three, I have four of the cats. I have two that are laying down and two that are the tall cats. I love gym shore. I would love to have everything he makes because I just, I love that style. If you're not familiar with gym shore, look it up. It's Jim, S H O R E. Jim Shore. He does, um, well, they're re 
reproduced in resin. I don't know what his original medium is. I think it might be wood because that's pretty, that's kind of what it looks like. Although you can make just about anything look like wood anymore. But anyway, look him up. He's awesome. I love him. Let me know if you have any Jim Shore in your collection already. All right, next is, it's a wood piece and it's a Mickey head. And even better, it's Ariel. It made me laugh because I'm like, oh, wait a minute. That's actually would be the eyeballs, but it's her boobs. And <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me, I tell you. I am whoo, messed up in the head. But isn't it cute? So this can be a coaster. Or it can just be, um, you could slap a magnet on the back of it and put it on the fridge or on your filing cabinet at work. It's pretty darn cute. I like it. They had a couple of different ones. I think I have another one coming. Um, one of the different styles. I think I ordered that. I might, I might have changed my mind for something better. <laughs> but anyway, so that's that. Oh, I forgot to show you the drills. It is diamond painting does have rhinestones with it. Okay, we don't need all of those bags. Too many. So as you expected, we have purple and red. Two shades of green and a champagne color for her skin. So those are for the Ariel Mickey head. Don't stick to me, please. Okay. Next, I'm going to save that one for last. Next, we have box. Something in a box. It always feels so much more special when it comes in a box, doesn't it? It feels more fancy. And wait till you see this, because this is fancy. Yeah, there. Is that it? That's it. Okay, so I'll sit you right there. We have our rhinestones. We have our tool kit with some bags. Where do, oh. oh, excuse me. I was like, where did I put my tool that other toolkit? We have a beautiful rose base. Goodness, excuse me. We have a clear base. I just took my pills and I chugged a bunch of Gatorade with it. And I usually don't drink Gatorade. I ha if I do, I drink it really slow. <laughs> so now it's coming back at me. It's like you drink it way too fast. So anyway, hi Bubba. So you ready? Here she is. <laughs> Isn't she gorgeous? Look at that face. She's beautiful. So I think I might know what those are going to be. I really hope they're purple because I haven't gotten any purple ones yet. Isn't she pretty? So I'm not sure why there's two stands, if, unless it's just for stability. I always have the hardest time getting pieces in these stands. They never want to go in for me. They always seem like they're too thick. Get her plastic up out of the way. There we go. And I'm always afraid I'm going to break something. See, it won't go in. Okay, she's standing up on her own. So I guess it just, you gotta put, use, I lost a strip. So she just sits in there, so you have to use the clear one on top, and that's the one that she actually sits in. See, she goes in real easy there. And then she doesn't really go in this one. But if you just sit it on top, 
it holds it in place. So she's really not in there tight, but that holds her, that is enough to hold her. I love that rose base. That rose base is so pretty. Okay, back up. Meow. Sit her back here. How about we sit her up here? There we go. And let's see. Oh, they're pink. Darn it. Why aren't they purple? That would be so pretty. As I throw everything at myself. So this is what I'm talking about. The roses that go on her hat and down the side of her dress. They will be pink. We've got purple and orange AB rounds. Not sure why there's orange on there. Oh, because the bottom of her dress has an orange layer. Okay. I'm answering my questions as I go. It's a good thing. Okay. Baby, you got to back up now because my elbow is going to be right in your face. Okay. So here are the rest of the drills that go on that. We have clear. We have pink and a beautiful peachy orange. Three shades of purple. Make that four. That is a really deep, deep, deep purple. And then yellow and pale peach again. It's a little bit darker than the original, the first one. Okay, so that goes like that. And our last project I'm very excited about. Let's hope it goes smoothly. Oh my gosh. It looks like there are teeny tiny little teeth marks all over the back of this bag. It's weird. Can you see those? It's like it was on some kind of graded surface. It's kind of weird. Okay, so standard toolkit. Here are the rhinestones for the project and lots of black drills. We have a rectangle with a slit in it. And here is our project. It's Bastet. Isn't that cool? So this is all wood. I love that, that it's wood instead of just acrylic. So are you going to go in your base like you should? There. It's in there. It ain't coming out. But isn't it beautiful? I love it. I love the Bastet statues. And I don't have any because I had never found... Oh, crud. Because I had never found any that I could afford or, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> but when I saw this, I was like, oh, I gotta have her. She is so beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. All right, I want to put some drills on her. I want to put her flowers on her and her big pieces. You want to hang out with me while I do that? So this is the type of pen I like to use when I'm doing these big stones. This is the little wax tip, and this is more of a pointer. It's too small to actually get wax into, but you can use it to smush things into place. If you place a stone crookedly, you can use that to uh, push it into place because you don't want to use the wax tip because it will misshapen the wax tip. And um, 
I actually just push these back into place or push them back into shape because after a while it gets dull. You can see how it's um, mushrooming. Couldn't think of the word I wanted to use. But I just warm it up with my fingers and then just kind of put it back into a point. So if you just rub it back and forth like this, it warms it up enough and the point goes back and you don't have that mushrooming anymore if it bothers you. If not, no biggie. Okay, so there are our flowers on Our Lady. My Lady. On the big ones, I don't try to go through the funnel because sometimes it's too small. And also sometimes I'm just too lazy. <laughs> All right. So now we have this peach layer down here. I'm not going to do all everything because it's going to take a little bit of time to do um, her whole dress and I definitely don't have it, that much stuff to talk about. I put away the last two months worth of, well I haven't put them away yet, but I cataloged them, made sure I had images for everything, Realize that I have misplaced a few sets of drills for some other paintings that I have been sitting out for a while, which I realized I probably had them sitting out because I misplaced the drills. I don't know what I did with them. I don't know where they went. They just are not, not where they're supposed to be. So that's going to be fun. Okay, and then last of all, I'm going to do the purple ones for her purple layer. She's so pretty. I love this so much. What is taking them so long to do these? They should have been doing these from the beginning instead of just canvases because I think this would be so cute to have on a shelf. Have five or six of these sitting on a shelf. It would be very cute. Same with the wood figures. They need to make more stuff like that because like some of us have way too many canvases and are running out of wall space and running out of people to give them to. <laughs> my, my niece actually told me, my husband doesn't like them. He appreciates them, but he doesn't like them. So don't give me any. <laughs> I said, all right, I can accept that. He appreciates it, but he doesn't want to look at it. She's like, yeah, that's kind of, it's not his style. <laughs> so in other words, he thinks they're tacky or, or what? I don't know. I don't care. I just thought it was really cute that, that he told her he appreciates them. He just doesn't want them in his house, which... You can take either way, and I choose to take it in a good way. All right, my love. Here she is. Partially done. I love the flowers. I wish they were purple. So pretty. All right, well, I'm going to let you go because I got to go get Emily and Allie from school. Uh, Emily has basketball practice tonight, so wish her luck. Well, you're not going to see this until she's already done with basketball practice, so never mind. So she has a game on Saturday. So wish her luck for Saturday because I know she's a little bit nervous. It's going to be her very first game, and they've only had two practices. So I don't know how what the, well they expect this game to go we'll see. So I will see you again very soon. Thank you so much for being here. I love you.